Good morning, friends. This is Mr. Atticus, and he is my three-year-old son, and he is helping me out this morning. We decided it's really cold outside, so we need to draw some mittens, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So Atticus has his hands on a piece of paper, and we're gonna spread them out just a little bit, and he's gonna hold them really, really still. Okay, can you hold them still? Okay, and then I'm gonna come up here with a pencil, and I am going to trace around his thumb, and I'm leaving extra room, and then these are mittens, so they can go all the way around. Okay, and then I'm gonna come over to this hand, we're gonna move it just a little bit, put your fingers together, like that. Yep, and we're gonna come up here, and we're gonna do the same thing, and notice I'm doing this with a pencil first. That way if we mess, oh, did freeze your fingers, there we go. That way if we mess up, we can always go back and erase. All right, let go please. I do that. So we yet. have two mittens. Notice he moved his fingers over here. So I can <coughs> erase this line just a little bit. And we can come back. All right. There we go, friends. So we have two mittens and now what we're gonna do is you are going to use crayons or markers or oil pastels or paint and you are gonna color these mittens all the way in. We can even add a little bottom over here and we can add a bottom over here. And we're gonna color them all the way in and it's gonna be so fun. And then we are going to create a pattern. So now friends, I'm all set up. I have my oil pastels and I love green. I love lime green. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take that. We're going to trace that line all the way around. As you can see, I have outlined the mittens in um, this lime green color. If you notice, the mittens aren't exactly the same. And you know what? That's okay. My three-year-old had wiggly hands and your hands might be a little bit wiggly too. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the time and we're going to color these in. Fill the space all the way. Okay. Now as you can see, the mitten is colored all the way in. And I used an oil pastel crown when I traced the edges, so I went just a little bit over in a couple of spots. Now comes the next fun part. We are going to add a pattern to this using another color. A pattern is simply a repetition in art of color, line or shape. So I'm going to show you how I can use um, shapes right now to create a pattern. So as you can see, I have started adding a pattern to my mitten. It starts off, I made a line. See the line right there? And then I did five circles. One, two, three, four, five. And then a line and then five squares. One, two, three, four, five and then a line and five more circles, and a line and five more squares. And I decided to use all the same color, but you could use different colors, you could use different shapes, you could use different lines. And then um, I will continue to fill this, sorry, I couldn't find my crayon. You'll continue to fill this all the way up. So let's see what that's gonna look like. So when it's all done, I fill the pattern all the way going down. And you'll notice that it's wider at the top, so sometimes you can fit more. Like here I have five circles, but by the time I get to the bottom, there's four circles and then there's three squares. I also drew little curved lines here because that's where my thumb goes. So that's why those lines don't go all the way across. But now what I would love for you to do is to color your other mitten and um, to cut this all the way out and put your name, first name, last name, room number on the back of each of your mittens. I cannot wait to see what you create. Thanks and have a great day.